next one is, what is your goal in clinching? What is the whole purpose of clinching? To get close. To get close? Anybody else? Control. Control. <laughs> there you go. Control. What else? To get on the inside. To get on the inside. For like a tie fighting a foreigner, their basic thing in clinching is the stop, the kicks, and the punches. Clinching, just like jujitsu, stops the strikes. And in Thailand, most of the fights go to clinching in round number four. They do five rounds. You'll guarantee you always see clinching in round four. And usually, whoever wins the clinch wins the fight. So all Rajam Dumner and Lupini champions are clinch masters. But us foreigners, we always like the strikes, the power kicks, but it's really the clinching who's gonna win. So what I say my goal for clinching is to stop the strikes. It's also to, uh, like, like Dennis said, is to control. And, and in the South Thailand where I'm from, they're clinching so they can elbow you. I don't care where, what kind of the clinch you're in. There's one elbow that can hit you every time. That's why a lot of foreigners, the Japanese, don't like clinching, because you're gonna get elbowed. But most clinching is to set up a good knee strike. And if you throw a person to the ground, it's the same as you knock them down. It's a big point. In fact, some stadiums, you throw a person to the ground three times in your fight, you've won the fight. There's nothing they can do anymore. Because in traditional Muay Thai, it's all about stand-up. You're stuck on the ground, to them, you're dead. Because it goes back to Siam War, war things. In a Siam War, if you're on the ground, guess who steps on you? <laughs> an elephant steps on you. So that's why if you're on the ground, an elephant's going to step on you. So that's old school tradition. Don't be on the ground because you're going to die. <laughs> okay, so that's next. 